haven't seen my abs since high school. Matter of fact, oh, it blew my mind this the year. little bit of time that uh, after I went back over to this job, after they, they let us off for like two or three weeks, mm -hmm. I went back and I wasn't even there, but maybe maybe like a couple months. Mm -hmm. And I ended up getting hurt and I went to the hospital. The day we went to the hospital, mm -hmm. they weighed me and Bethany looked at me like, Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Weighed 165 pounds. Yeah, the most I've ever oh weighed was 215. Yeah. And yeah. let's see, all the way <laughs> from 2009 to 2010. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you serious? But it wasn't a bulky 215. Oh, yeah. like, what an incredible lie. See my stretch marks right there? I couldn't even, at that time, I couldn't even pinch this much of my mind. Oh, really? Like if you, I don't have no pictures of me during that time other than Christian pictures, but they're all over there in storage still. But yeah, I'm standing on on the prison yard like this, and these, all these dudes right here. Uh, this I got uh, one on one side, and then I got two of the guys on the other side that I was cool with in there, and we're we're st all standing like I'm standing like this, but they're standing behind me going like this, and, and I'm holding like that. But you can see everything. Yeah, my chest used to poke out to about maybe really? right there. Yeah, my, my chest was more flatter. But I've noticed I, I got titties. <laughs> like to where they point out now. After it's basically muscle bearing. Yeah. Like it was lifting and shit. And there I like I said, I was in there like two, three years that time. And I was just lifting weights and eating. And not to mention, you know what a uh, ramen noodle would do to you. <laughs> well, I was eating nothing but ramen noodles, bull meals. Like, you might think it would be gross, but I could sit here and make you something I guarantee that you would love the shit out of. But it looks gross. Is it that type of ramen? Uh, There's some people who come out of prison and they're like, they can make some, like a whole meal out of chopped ramen. It's like, yeah. No, I can make a homemade actual pizza that you could actually yeah. cut up and mm -hmm. you could take a piece of it and pick it up just like a piece of pizza and it would blow your mind yeah. with what all was in it. Yeah, um, I have friends that used to do that. I made one for my mom one time that I got out of prison and she's like, that looks nasty. You might take a bite, mom. No, that looks gross. <laughs> you might take a bite. Trust me, you, you'll change your mind. Cause she's she's tried some of my co concoctions before I even went to prison. I used to mix stuff up to any like that, and she's like, "Okay, well I'll try it." And then she's like, "Oh my god!" And she ate like three pieces, like every bit of that big, about this thick. She's smiling. But it's it just consists of ramen noodles, uh, some crackers. And then you throw a little bit of cheese puffs or something like that. You smash them up and you throw them in in the bag with your nothing but your ramen noodles. And you mix it up and you let it ferment in the bag for a little bit. Because all you do is you throw your uh, your ramen noodles in there first with your seasoning packets and stuff. And then you actually add your hot water to it. But then you, once you put the water to it, you mix it up to where all of it gets wet. And then you wrap it up and tie, like kind of basically not tying it, but tying it and let it sit there and it ferments and it swells up to where it soaks all our water up in the noodles. Where it ain't got a juice to it, yeah. but with it doing that, you're actually getting the full capability of your noodle to where it's swollen up so big. And then if you have a little bit of extra moisture in there, you actually, that's when you throw a little bit of crackers and your uh, cheese puffs and stuff in there to thicken it up to where it's actually like a real crust. And then once you do that and you lay it out, whether you're wanting to make a loaf that kind of looks something like that, but it's all, all the stuff inside rolled up in it. Or you can actually flatten it out on a flat Number surface one. to where it's can make easily fit. Or yeah. We'll teach only yeah. the syllabus as outlined by yep. the department chair. I don't know. During the, the whole time I was back and forth in and out of that place, I got pretty creative with this stuff. For approval and revision. Number two.
Have you ever had breakfast pizza? We shall not provide yeah, uh, breakfast pizza. <laughs> your own subject for any it, student at it, any it, it, it don't involve noodles. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that you will agree but to it's, it's got graham crackers, uh, chocolate syrup, uh, Snickers bars, well, I mean, our candy bars. No, I mean, you can actually make breakfast pizza that same way, though. Because I actually made a breakfast pizza because I was working at the, in the chow hall at that time. And I was copping food from there. But if you get caught doing it, you get fired. But I, that was a little hustle of mine on top of a little bit of money I was being sent. To where I, I'd actually come out with some of that and people would buy it from me. And except for what I would keep. But I, you could only use it that day. Unless you had, like... We rigged something up to where it was sitting on ice overnight, but you could only keep it there too. But one time I was in there, I think it was in 2009, we had a real decent snow, and so I was stashing the shit outside the building in the snow, because I mean, it was in plastic or, or uh, containers or whatever. But I actually used to take uh, like the hash browns, the bacon, eggs, or sausage chunks or whatever. That I felt like I was for that day. Yeah. And yeah, I would actually make my own bread. So, like, I'd cop their biscuit yeah. mix, <laughs> and we'd make the biscuits in the microwave at the house. Because in the housing units, you actually had just re a regular microwave to where you could eat your food up. Silly. And then on top of it, you can buy on canteen. I call them percolators. I don't know really what the actual name of them is. But you know the old school oh, coffee cup go. or uh, the coffee deals that's all in one, but it has the big uh, jug on the bottom with the handle on it, and then you got the actual metal rod that comes up with the coffee one. filter holder. Uh, it, it's basically similar to that concept, but except for this thing is strictly made to boil water.